And today, let's come to uh, this uh, critical chapter. Yeah, because uh, uh, it's very important for MME, multinational company, to be successful in global market. Uh, this chapter will uh, talk about training and management development yeah, in multinational enterprise. Uh, this issue is very important because uh, for a modern company uh, when they uh, go global they should know how to develop uh, the global talent to managing the worldwide business and operation for them so now uh, in this chapter we will talk about some uh, training uh, issue uh, in uh, MAE and also all these issues will be related to uh, global training and development yeah uh, some training is for the local uh, workforce need but some uh, development is for the global talent need okay and also uh, uh, today uh, many MAEs they organize the virtue and the global team they form this kind of team to uh, do business or conduct the business and uh, some oper operation uh, in a worldwide uh, subsidiary so uh, this virtue and global team is very important uh, however how to make this uh, uh, team project uh, be effective right is a, a special issue but um, now the most important is the global leadership development uh, how to develop an uh, international manager to work for you uh, in the long run right how to develop okay uh, should it always uh, be a sign to go abroad from the headquarters or MAES sure know how to develop the local talent to become the global talent right so this uh, global leadership development uh, is very important and then uh, development of a global mindset global mindset maybe you are you will be an international manager but if you don't uh, project this uh, global mindset you will fail in your international career so how to develop the global mindset especially today many men yes uh, they uh, will face the close culture uh, difference in their worldwide subsidiary right so the global mindset is very important uh, especially when you are assigned and rotate in the many foreign subsidiary okay global mindset uh, is uh, the critical critical factor for your career success okay uh, also uh, for modern company where they uh, want to uh, managing the worldwide subsidiary right? worldwide subsidiary there uh, time management team, time management team uh, need have this global mindset. Uh, don't just uh, try to transfer everything, all know-how from headquarters to foreign subsidiary. Uh, it will not uh, make right in today's uh, uh, international business. Okay, uh, and we should know the cross culture preparation for international aligning if you are assigned to uh, uh, go international okay you should prepare yourself uh, in terms of this cross culture management okay so in this chapter uh, some special and important issue uh, will be addressed uh, especially we will talk about this global mindset
global mindset. Okay, then, uh, <coughs> and also uh, uh, all of these issues are critical, right, to the success of ME and relate to the development of group technology. Group technology. You mean that global mindset can be used as a group technology, right? No group. Group. Hmm? Group, yeah. To combine people together, right? Group. And everybody can have a very good cooperation with each other. This is the, right? Group. Actually, uh, HR process, international HR process can be used as a good technology, good technology, right, to help MEA uh, to combine, to integrate all the international managers uh, who are separated, right, except in the worldwide operation. So how to combine them together, this good technology, mm. you know, uh, remember trend, right? Trend uh, web security company, right? Uh, trend technology, right? Trend technology. Remember this company? Yeah. Uh, this company, they use this uh, pajama, pajama party <laughs> every season, <laughs> one week, uh, pajama party to <laughs> group, right? to combine, to integrate all the other uh, team members, okay? So this informal mechanism for coordination include a lateral relationship, best practices transfer, project management, shared frameworks, and the socialization of the crew into shared value, okay? Uh, yeah. When I talk about this, I remember one thing. Uh, December 18, yeah, December 18. It's a Wednesday, I think, right? However, uh, there will be a, a company, a company visit right, to uh, ASE. You know ASE? The, top, the world top one semiconductor uh, packing test company. Uh, if uh, any student would like to go, yeah, you can join uh, this company visit team, right? It's uh, organized by uh, uh, IB program and uh, HR program, okay? And Professor Wang, Christina, yeah, and me, uh, we will lead this, uh, 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 this uh, study tour. Uh, and SE uh, were introduced to us how their HR practices uh, can uh, uh, evolve, evolve, uh, evolve to uh, uh, help the company go global, okay, go global and get the global competitiveness. So uh, their HR head, HR head uh, is one of the top management team uh, member I will come out uh, to talk about this uh, issue. Okay, so if uh, you, anyone uh, got interested, yeah, you can go, okay, yeah. And Hannah, please help the student, okay? If they, and count how many students we will go, okay? We will organize the tour, please. Yeah. And why I will talk about it, because Every year, SE will transfer their China talent, China talent uh, to have the training uh, to uh, go through this global, global leadership, uh, leader development uh, process. Yeah. Uh, so, all, so all the China talent, uh, if they get a very good performance, they can be uh, uh, transferred to Taiwan headquarters uh, to have at least three months, three months, <laughs> three months, some three months, some six months, some one year, <laughs> okay, to stay in Taiwan headquarters. Uh, why? Why three months? 
Why six months? Why one year? Because when they come here, they not only learn the know-how right, of this company, but also they need to be socialized uh, into the company share value, right? To know the company's culture, right? The company's uh, vision, how the uh, the how uh, the headquarter managing this coordination across the the different uh, department. Okay, so if you want to work in China, right, and act as a, a middle manager, you should know how to communicate with the headquarter. Okay, so before you got this uh, communication, uh, the tacit. Uh, know how you should know the culture, the real situation in the headquarters. Right? It's very important. Okay? Now, uh, key to the global organization learning. Okay. If you want to be an international manager in a specific company, you need to be. Uh, people uh, think and act globally. Think and act globally. Uh, this is why I have mentioned if you want to be a middle manager, even an executive in a foreign subsidiary, yeah, you should think and act globally. Uh, you cannot just be a local expertise. Not enough, right? Local expertise, not enough. Right? You should know how to how to acquire international know-how, right? In terms of technology and management best practices to help the local operation, okay? So think and act globally. Uh, and also, you should know how to uh, share the local success experience to the global group, right? The international group, okay? And become an uh, equidistant global learning organization, okay? This uh, learn from all culture, anytime in any manner possible, okay? When I stop coffee, I can learn from the Taiwan, right? From the Taiwan uh, subsidiary, Taiwan operate, Taiwan operation, Taiwanese operation. No, so they uh, innovate the matcha matcha latte. Do you know matcha latte? Yeah. Do you know this product matcha latte? Yeah. This product are popular, are popular and prevail in North America. Yeah. Every time when I uh, travel back to uh, Vancouver, yeah. And to Seattle, I find people like mocha latte. <laughs> but this uh, product comes from <laughs> innovative. It comes from Taiwan. <laughs> the Taiwan, okay. the Taiwan employee, they uh, innovate this uh, product. So, yeah, to learn from Montana company, need to learn from all culture, anytime, in any manner possible, okay? You know, even now, if you travel to China and to many uh, uh, famous uh, 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 you know, this ancient, uh, this uh, ancient site, you know, historical site, you can find some stuff of coffee. <laughs> was set up there in this historical historical site and they're building a very you know ancient style ancient style uh, this tobacco is uh, store just set up not set in this uh, ancient house right wow you see this historical site and the <laughs> western straw coffee fantastic yeah you would like this company you travel there. Ah, me, it's about coffee. Good. <laughs> Enjoy the coffee, right? 
focus on global system, not its part. So, even for the headquarters, right? You should not just uh, focus on the headquarters uh, style, okay? You need to focus on global system, that is part. And develop global leadership skill, uh, global leadership skill, yeah. Help all internet managers, right? To be a global talent, uh, got a global leadership skill, okay? It means that you need to manage employee, right? Uh, uh, who come from a different culture, okay? And however, it can help them to uh, very good cooperation with each other and work together, right? One plus one equal more than two, right? This is a global leadership skill, okay? Empower team to create a global future. Yeah, empower team, okay? Uh, how to, uh, especially now in Asia, Asia economy, right, uh, become more and more prosperous, right, prosperous. So, how to empower your Asian management team, okay, to get successful. Yeah. And make learning a core competence for the global organization. Uh, then the core competence, okay. For example, the train technology I mentioned to you, right, the train technology, they got the core competence, uh, core competence to compete in the global market. Right? How can be uh, continuous, continuous uh, change, right? To continuous uh, improve your your business and also uh, innovate the product. Okay, and have very good communication. Uh, among many uh, many uh, uh, foreign subsidiary, right? And also uh, uh, older employee manager, they like the the challenge, the challenging job, okay? Uh, so and meet the customer need. Remember this uh, four C, right? These four Cs, four Cs. Communication, challenging, change, and customer life. It's the core competence of this company. Right? Uh, okay. Even TSNC, right? TSNC. TSNC, right? This is the top technology company uh, in Taiwan. Okay. And SE, yeah? How can they? Uh, learn the core competence for the global organization. Regularly reinvent yourself and global organization. So for yourself, yeah, you need to uh, con constant develop yourself uh, for both uh, individual need and organization need. Okay. So uh, some issue related to the global training and development. Uh, the types of go of the problem confronting the ME for training of its local workforces. Now, if you are assigned to be the subsidiary HR head, okay, or CEO. Now, some uh, training issue, right, for local workforce come up to you. First, who should deliver training in the foreign subsidiary? Who? Who? How do you think? Headquarter? Local training. Hmm? Local training. Local, local, yeah. Local training? Yeah. Or independent trainer, how about? Maybe. Maybe. Hmm? You know, uh, Master Kong, this is the top one. Even I think not only top one is the, in the, all, is the, I think in, in Asia, in, in Asia, 
in Asia food food industry. Right? Mastercom is the top one, top one company. And do you know, 20 years ago, when they go to China, then they went to China 20 years ago. <laughs> they, this company is a small company in Taiwan. When they do business in China 20 years ago, okay, how can they get training, deliver training to the China manager and the China workforce? Right? Small company. You are small, only a small company. Right? Many small company. They get successful in China. However, how can they deliver training in the China business? Headquarter? Local China? Think about it. 20 years ago, what situation in China? <laughs> right? A poor country. Right? And not experienced uh, manager can be found there. Okay? So how can they give training? <laughs> Local China. Hmm? So, independent China. Right? They hire some independent China from Taiwan consulting company from Taiwan universities right and invite them to deliver the training to help the China uh, manager know how to uh, cost down <laughs> cost down the operation right how to make efficient right in their manufacturing process, right? Yeah. However, Unipreden, you know Unipreden? Yeah, the big company in China, the very big company in China, uh, no, in Taiwan, 20 years ago, right? So when they went to China, yeah, not necessary to invite the independent, right? Uh, China. Okay, there are many, many experienced manager, right? Work in Taiwan. Okay, so they just uh, deliver training. Deliver training. So think about this. How about how about third country? Russia. Okay. Russia. So if uh, a Russia company set up a subsidiary in China, how to deliver? How to deliver training? Training for Russian people or for Chinese? For China, for China or China talent. This some team which will contain people from Russia and people from China who can provide trainings together. Because if we will provide our trainings by ourselves. It will be not so productive because Chinese people have different mentality. And if Chinese people will provide training by themselves, so maybe they will fa find some obstacles when will they will get go to Russia and work with us because we have different mentality. So it should be a team which contains both parts. Yeah. Smart. <laughs> Smart decision. <laughs> you know, some cultural differences, right? Between Russia and China, even the language, right? Language. So you need to organize this uh, team, right? The training team. Okay. Yeah. How should the training be delivered? Right. The local culture difference and learning pre uh, preference need to be considered. Hmm. In, how do you think? Is there any differences between Taiwanese student and you in terms of this uh, learning method? Yes. Did you find? Yes, different approach. Uh, yeah. Different approach, yeah. Mm -hmm. How about you? Did you find? 
the difference is, yeah, you find the difference between you and your partner, your group partner, did you find it? Mm -hmm. How? So you are international team, <laughs> no, no Taiwanese member, yeah, okay, good. Find any differences between you and Taiwanese student? In terms of this learning? No in this course. No? Okay, no in this course. Oh, not in the Did you find? No, not in this course. No? No? No. No, not yet. <laughs> I think in general, um, uh, Taiwanese are more serious than uh, us because we are always late. Mm. And Taiwanese uh, are more, how do you say? Okay, I will leave this uh, question for you to discover, okay? I think after one semester you can find real uh, when Taiwanese students come up to present their idea, okay? To present uh, the final project, okay? Yeah. And what are the effects of language is different, okay? Should overseas employee be brought to centralized or regional training facility? Okay. So, how effective is e-learning? E-learning. E-learning, no? Okay. Can training program be developed in various locations to everyone? Uh, you need to consider this for IHR people, right? You are the IHR manager? Yeah, think about this how to provide the training, right? right for the local, uh, for local uh, need, okay? Uh, yeah. Now, let's talk about this uh, coach culture difference, okay? Right, play important role in design, develop implementation of your training program. You know? Yeah. So when you design this uh, uh, local training program, uh, like uh, she said, yeah, you need to consider uh, the culture difference. Not only the translation, right? Also the teaching method. Okay. Yeah. And how to uh, implement this training. Okay. Is more question discussion or uh, just uh, <laughs> uh, give more reading paper or you know so how to do it okay as a professional must make the effort to understand the local law yeah local law local law uh, many money company was asked to provide three percent 3% of their uh, revenue or revenue for uh, local training, okay? So you need to uh, understand the local laws, practice, and employer organization in order to improve the probability of achieving the required learning and development objective of any, okay? Yeah, so uh, I don't need to address too much about this uh, uh, cultural differences, okay? Uh, however, you should know this education level and form. Basic education and infrastructure vary so much from country to country. Hmm. Why? Many money companies want to set up manufacturing uh, factory in China, not in India, <laughs> right? Not in, uh, yeah, no. I think the reason not only the population, right? The cheaper level, uh, level of, uh, cost, education level, also a concern, right? You can. I would like to say 90% of the China w worker, they got the 
at least uh, the elementary, you no, know, the elementary uh, uh, school uh, education. And this uh, primary education, okay? They got a primary education. So, yeah, when you set up the assembly line, okay, all the worker need to get the lumber, right? No, they must have the lumber concept, right? They can uh, count, can calculate, right? They can know how to help, to help the efficiency, right? Can have this uh, quality management. They need to learn, okay? Also, all the, the working seat, no? How to fear the working seat. You need the, the primary education to do this, okay? Mm. Yeah, and the language. Language also, yeah? Important, okay? So, uh, yeah, I, I don't want to uh, spend much time about this uh, small issue, detail issue, okay? I just uh, uh, give this to you uh, reference, okay? Uh, however, transfer of training. This issue has to do with the extent to which people on training program are able to apply what they learn training program to their day-to-day -day job. Trainer has to consider not only the nature of the cross border training, but also must pay close attention to who need to receive training. Who? Yeah, think about this. How do you think uh, the China had enough uh, R&D professional for the high tech? for a high-tech company. How do you think? Yes, China has many level workforces. However, how about the R&D professional in the high-tech? Not so many, right? Not enough poor. Okay, so now China government provide the incentive right for many money companies to set up a global R D center in China. Not local R D, global R D center. It means that this center need to uh, have some innovation, right? For global need, not only for local need. So think about this. When you hire an engineer or R&D professional in China subsidiary, right? How do you think? How to help them to work effectively? Hmm? Any idea? Any idea? Yet, you look like a very good R&D professional. So, how do you think? Mm, if you are uh, recruit to be a R and D professional in China by a modern company, what do you want? R and D professional in modern company. You are a local talent. What do you need? What do you want? What's your expectation? Hmm? Salary? salary? Yep. Only salary, okay. Good. Salary is very, very important, yeah, for you, right? But think about it, you, you just get a degree, no? Get a degree from master program or, you know? Then, first I need some experience. Mm, some experience. You need some experience. So, that's your consideration. When you want to choose a company, a multi company, right? To work there. Right. So, other than uh, salary, 
probably the possibility that I learn something and get that experience. Yeah, right? Experience and something. What the something? What the something? No? You are... Uh, no, you got the, the science degree, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, what you want to learn? Yeah. No. Hmm. Any science background student here? No? No. <laughs> okay. This uh, state of our expertise, technology, right? Advanced technology, even the leading technology, right? You want to learn from this model company, right? Right? Because, as I mentioned to you, China, right? China had not enough right this technology right okay they're, even their university right cannot uh, give the enough uh, technology uh, courses so when you got a degree and want to work for a modern company in China you need to find right find a company who can provide you this uh, a more advanced technology right okay even for your job not only for your individual career need even for your job okay you need to learn you need to learn so maybe you need what cross-border training right some cross-border For example, the data, right? The data, electronic, did the number, the top one uh, power supplier manufacturer. Okay, when they set up uh, the man, the uh, the uh, new the new energy company, new energy company, right? They set up this new energy business in China and recruit. Right, some uh, IT professional work for them. Okay, so they first before before this uh, new answer can uh, can can uh, provide any uh, uh, contribution. Right, he need to be trained. Right, trained. Maybe in Taiwan, right? In Japan, in USA, in Germany, right? Okay. If he didn't get a training, he don't know how to cooperate, right? With others. He didn't know how to even learn from the experience, the professional. Okay. Training is very important. Okay. Uh, this is a different. Uh, uh, style right different preference for many uh, different countries the uh, uh, Chinese okay and also uh, you need to consider this uh, standardized approach to global TMB okay there are many cultural regions to localize training and we also must uh, integrate their TND activity okay not only to achieve the economic scale of scope, but to ensure that the same TND is available for all their worldwide employees on a just-in-time basis. Just in time. Okay. You know, ASUS, uh, ASUS always uh, launched a new product, right? Of their notebook. Notebook. Even some, uh, now even the, the some, uh, some mobile mobile phone okay and Asus uh, hire many uh, local marketing uh, per personnel right this uh, person in USA right in uh, Europe country so when they launch the new product how should they do 
reach the same person, right? To the headquarters to get the Chinese. It's okay? No, right? So they will provide the, the some standard material. The material, right? Up concerning this new product. What's the function, right? Value this uh, product can provide to the customer, okay? So they will uh, prepare the, the some material and make make up the you know this um, uh, training right this is a training a material and provide it to all the salesperson in different country this kind of you know and so they just when they open their their email right they can find okay then got this uh, and even even can all this uh, material can be uh, put in the iPhone, okay, their mobile phone. So when they go to the customer, right, they can yeah, provide this information to the customer, right? It's important. Okay, even you know now, now only the hot. This hard technology is it's not enough for competing in global market. The soft, right? This is the, the soft uh, uh, the solution, right? The soft solution need to be provided to the customer. So for IBM, they need to provide and deliver the cloud, you know, not cloud technology. Cloud technology, yeah. cloud technology. They need to uh, give training to all all the employees about the cloud technology. So all the IBM employee, they learn this cloud technology and know how to apply this technology, right, for the customer service, right. So this is just in time. Well, this is a high tech company, right? Okay. So in the global integrated enterprise, there will always be need to develop TNT, TNT intervention uh, around the common processes, practice, and our uh, principle. Okay. And then we are now taking advantage of the development opportunity provided through IT by making training program on virtually every uh, conceivable uh, topic. Uh, available through the company sponsored website. Okay. So in <coughs> so okay. So you think about this standardized approach. But also you also need to think about the localized to reflect local management practice and all. Yeah. Okay. The uh, concern is virtue and global team. Okay, this is uh, increasingly necessary. We're aiming to organize training program and uh, procure around the uh, formation and management of team, okay? And it's an uh, increasing need to organize the diverse team, the diverse team. Yeah. So if you want to solve the problem, many know how many technology, many uh, expertise come from different country, come from different country. So this uh, diverse team, right? If you can manage well, right, it will perform better, perform better than a homogeneous team, right? But if uh, you manage, you cannot manage well, and become a poor team, okay? Become a poor team. You know, do you remember that uh, three years ago, Chile, you know, Chile, Man Chile Manor, man, about how many Chile miners were uh, trapped uh, underground? You mean, remember this? Almost, uh, how many? 64, maybe. 64 miners, right? Was trapped, was trapped underground. Uh, 264 feet underground. Do you know this? 
remember three years ago some chi miner was trapped you know, because of the earthquake and they cannot come out they cannot come out immediately so just trapped underground the depth is the 264 feet do you remember this? at that time this uh, the world news right very important news and my old everybody just watch the TV to know the no the progress the progress right? or the, the, the rescue team how can rescue this uh, miner come out at that time they organized this international team international team They know how the technology, the equipment cannot be provided only by single country. So at last, US team, US team, the US member, they use the, sp the spatial, you know, the, the space technology, the space know-how right, to, to find the, lo the, the, right, the right location. Fail, fail this minor. <laughs> Right, where is this miner now? No, they use this uh, spatial, right? The space uh, technology to detect, to find out the location of all these uh, uh, trapped miner. Right, and they use this uh, uh, the f no the the. The, 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 the photo equipment right? and put in inside right? um, because the, the hole is very small the hole is very small so they just they know to let all the family know what's the minor's situation to know they are healthy okay so use this uh, the photo technology uh huh. Um, every day they need to uh, to send the food and water from this hole. Think about how deep, okay? And so every time, just a, a little bit, a little bit. First. So all the food was provided by Japanese team. <laughs> Japanese team, they know how to provide this kind of the, the food. <laughs> Okay. And they try, uh, they try to uh, dig a big hole, you no, know, the big hole, to rescue all the miners. Right? All the equipment was provided by Germany, <laughs> the German company. Okay. Yeah. And do you know the shuttle? The last, finally they manufacture a shuttle and go through this uh, hole right to uh, rescue the miner who manufacture the shuttle china <laughs> china every time only one only one only one person right because the hole cannot be too big or the the big the that right, two hundred. So every time just one member come out. One come out. So think about this shuttle. Cannot be too heavy, right? Cannot be it's, it's too heavy but no. Okay. Diverse team. So at last every minor gets safe. <laughs> right, this is a diverse team. How about take a short break? 10 minutes, come back.